Hi, my name is David Mayo. I'm from the California Institute of Technology and I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about cost transfers and what, what you might want to watch out for. Uh, most PIs, I don't think, s really realize the issue associated with cost transfers. But from the federal government's point of view, from, or at least from an auditor's point of view, when you signed off initially on the transaction to charge it to a particular account, a federal account, you basically certified that that's an appropriate place, that it was allocable, allowable, reasonable, and consistently treated. So you basically said it met those four criteria at the time you charge it. Now, you're doing a cost transfer for whatever reason. It might be, oops, I made a mistake. You're now saying you lied when you certified it. That's, at least that's the way an auditor would look at it. So you've certified it. You're now transferring it to another federal award possibly, or off of the federal award. That, but it's even a higher risk when it's going to the other federal award because now the auditor is questioning, why did you really transfer it? Was it really an error? Or are you trying to clear off an unexpended balance from one award because it's closing out and you have extra money on this other award? Or this other award is closing out and you have money left over that you want to use up. The federal auditors know this. I mean, the PIs, we, we kind of know what the PIs are really going for here is they're trying to make the maximum use of the research funding. But that you really need to be careful with that if you're working with your PI and, and helping, them, helping them clean up accounts, that you don't clean it up and make another one dirty by, by association. Uh, another th problem that can make this even worse is if it's a salary transfer and you've already certified through the, your effort certification or payroll certification process. So you charged it once with the payroll charge. That's your first certification. Then you certified the individual who did the work on that project, certified that's where I spent my time during that period of time. Now you're transferring it. You've lied twice and now you're changing your story. So you have to change two things. You have to change the original cost and you have to recertify the effort w that was charged and now you have to put it on the new one. And the third thing that can make it even worse is if you do that more than 90 days, if all of this changing is happening more than 90 days after the original cost hit the books when it was charged, it's, although it's not a, a, an absolute federal deadline, most universities have taken 90 days after the cost date as a reasonable period of time when you would find errors, if there were any errors, and make those cost transfers. But once you pass that 90-day mark, you're really saying, not only did I make a mistake, but I wasn't paying any attention to the mistakes I was making. I wasn't looking for mistakes to see if there was any cleanup that needed to be done. And now you have a possible lack of controls, not just a lack of paying attention, but a lack of controls. So you really need to be careful on those expenditure transfers.